More than three million Lebanese electors are expected to turn out to vote in a new parliament from one of the most polarized political landscapes in the world. On the one side, the current Sunni majority, on the other, Shia Hezbollah. Just two weeks ago, US Vice President Joe Biden hinted that a win for pro-Iranian, Syrian-supported Hezbollah would result in the United States re-evaluating its stance towards Lebanon. We will evaluate the shape of our assistance programs based on the composition of the new government and the policies it advocates. Opinion polls have so far failed to pick an outright winner, but it's the Christian vote that's expected to be the decider. People just want to live and have stability. This is the greatest country in the world. People just want security so that tourism can flourish. One of the biggest fears is more sectarian violence. After clashes last year between pro- and anti-government groups left 100 people dead. Lebanon cannot be run except on the basis of accommodation. This country does not understand political competition. Political competition is to be found in liberal democracies. In Lebanon, competition means a winner and a loser. A loser in Lebanon is a prelude to a civil war. With violence flaring up with increasing frequency in Lebanon in recent years, tensions and security fears are high.